eyes to close, bringing awareness feeling each breath as it comes in and out, letting the breath be just as it is, without trying to change it in any way, allowing it to flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm and pace, knowing you are breathing perfectly well right now, nothing for you to do. Allowing the body to be still and sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve, a sense of being complete, whole, in this very moment, with your posture reflecting this sense of wholeness. As you sit here, letting an image form in your mind's eye of the most magnificent or beautiful mountain you know or have seen or can imagine, letting it gradually come into greater focus. And even if it doesn't come as a visual image, allow the sense of the mountain and feeling its overall shape, its lofty peak, or peaks high in the sky, the large base rooted in the bedrock of the Earth's crust, its steep or gently sloping sides. Noticing how massive it is, how solid, how unmoving, how beautiful, whether from afar or up close. Perhaps your mountain has snow blanketing its top and trees reaching down to the base or rugged granite sides. There may be streams and waterfalls cascading down the slopes. There may be one peak or a series of peaks or with meadows and high lakes. Observing it, noting its qualities, and when you feel ready, Seeing if you can bring the mountain into your own body sitting here so that your body and the mountain in your mind's eye become one. So that as you sit here, you share in the massiveness and the stillness and the majesty of the mountain. You become the mountain. Grounded in the sitting posture, your head becomes the lofty peak supported by the rest of the body and affording a panoramic view. Your, soldier, your shoulders and arms the size of the mountain. Your buttocks and legs the solid base rooted to your cushion or your chair, experiencing in your body a sense of uplift from deep within your pelvis and spine. With each breath, as you continue sitting, becoming a little more breathing mountain, alive and vital yet unwavering in your inner And shadows and colors are changing virtually moment by moment in the mountain stillness. And the surface teems with life and activity. Streams, melting snow, waterfalls, plants and wildlife. As the mountain sits, seeing and feeling how night follows day and day follows night, the bright warming sun followed by the cool night sky studded with stars and the gradual dawning of a new day. Through it all, the mountain just sits, experiencing changes in each moment, 
constantly changing it, always just being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another. And as the weather changes moment by moment and day by day, calmness abiding all change. In summer, there's no snow on the mountain, except perhaps for the very peaks or in crags shielded from sunlight. In the fall, the mountain may wear a coat of brilliant fire colors. In winter, a blanket of snow and ice. In any season, it may find itself at times enshrouded in clouds or fog or pelted by freezing rain. People may come to see the mountain and comment Magnificence and beauty are not changed one bit by whether people see it or not, seen or unseen, in sun or clouds, broiling or frigid, day or night, it just sits being itself. At times, visited by violent storms, buffeted by snow and rain and winds of unthinkable magnitude, through it all, the mountain sits. Spring comes, tree leaves trees leaf out, flowers bloom in the high meadows and slopes, birds sing in the trees once again, streams overflow with the waters of melting snow. And through it all, the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what happens on its surface, by the world of appearances, remaining its essential self through the seasons, the changing weather, the activity ebbing and flowing on its surface. In the same way, as we sit in in our lives and in our meditation practice, we experience constantly the changing nature of mind and body and of the outer world. We have our own periods of light and darkness, activity and inactivity, our moments of color, our moments of drabness. It's true that we experience storms of varying intensity and violence in the outer world, and in our minds and bodies, buffeted by high winds, by cold and rain, we endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as the moments of joy and uplift. Even our appearance changes constantly, experiencing a weather of its own. By becoming the mountain in our meditation practice, we can link up with its strength and stability and adopt them for our own. We can use its energies to support our, en our energy to encounter each moment with mindfulness, equanimity, and clarity. Mountains have this to teach us, and much more, if we can let it in. So if you find you resonate in some way with the strength and stability of the mountain in your sitting, it may be helpful to use it from time to time in your meditation practice to remind you of what it means to sit mindfully with resolve and with wakefulness and true stillness. So in the time that remains, continuing to sustain the mountain meditation on your own, in silence, moment by moment. until you come back to wherever you're sitting come back to yourself notice your surroundings and remember the feeling of mountainness It's the mountain meditation. Hope you come back next week. We'll 
have some more interesting conversations. Have a good week.